My name is Tia Walcott. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we're going to do my three year nose job update. Cut. You. Now I'm so hot. They say, Tia, you're so hot. And they say, What are you talking about? Me? I'm really not. Okay, I guess I'm going off on the mic because I had a little bit to drink. It was tequila with kombucha. Do you feel me? It was kombucha. It was kombucha, man. I never. I want to let you know before you watch that this is not my regularly scheduled content. Me and my husband just moved to Chicago and we are redoing our condo. Please check out our bedroom remodel that we did and then also just stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's talk about that time I redid my face. I got my nose job done three years ago in Los Angeles, California by Dr. Donald Yu. Am I glad I got my nose job? Ultimately, yes, I am glad I got my nose job. I love it. However, I don't think in good faith I can ever recommend anyone else actually go out and get a nose job. I simply don't think it's worth it. It's not worth the money. That is the biggest thing. I, someone who I love had that disposable income. If you do want to get a nose job, let's get into the nitty gritty. I had an open rhinoplasty. That means they cut my nose along here, pulled the whole thing back and open to do the surgery. I had alar base reduction on one nostril. Alar base reduction is a process by which they cut the side of your nostril to make your nose narrower by making your nostrils smaller. And lastly, my doctor had to take rib cartilage to build the tip of my nose. The healing time all in, I would say, took two years, but what you should know if you do want to get a nose job is that your nose is never really healed. I will have to be sensitive with the tip of my nose for the rest of my life. To this day, when I hug my husband, I still have to make sure like the tip of my nose isn't really nuzzled into his neck. Oh my gosh, look at the ocean. It's literally like high tide coming to freaking get us, but I'm out here filming for you all because I love you like comment and subscribe before i got my nose job i didn't think deeply about getting a nose job but i had a friend in college who got a nose job and that sort of instantaneously normalized the process for me even though it's not that normal of a process um, once i decided i was going to get a nose job i found my doctor i did the damn thing but i will say what i wanted to fix with my surgery was mainly how i looked facing front to camera i wanted them to make the bridge of my nose smaller I wanted them to make my nostrils a little bit smaller, and that's pretty much it. I made the mistake of telling my doctor that I wanted like a, a lift on the end of my nose, like a Bella Hadid style lift. I could have definitely done without it. I certainly like my profile in my nose before better than my profile now. Okay, I would say that that's not entirely accurate. Technically, before I got my nose job, I had a good and a bad side of my profile, but I never realized that until like looking back on it because I look at footage and from one side, I'm like, my profile looks amazing. And then from the other side, I was like, hmm, now I have like a good and a bad side. One side that's kind of cute, really cute, but I don't think it looks amazing, but I think it looks pretty, pretty darn cute. And then one side that's also cute, but from some angles, it's a bit rough, but I'm going to let... Uh, uh, I'm gonna let it Tia continue. But I have a good and a bad side. So my left side profile, I, I really like. And the left side is the side that I had alar base reduction. My right side profile, I do not like. I wish it was a little bit smaller because I just feel like my nose would look a little bit more petite from the side. But only recently have I come to terms with the fact that my nose is the way it is and I'm okay with it. A nose job is not a fix-all. If you are insecure about your appearance, I think a nose job can really, really help. But I do think you're going to have some of the same insecurities before and after your surgery. Me, for example, I still think I look a little bit better, let's say, when I'm in better shape than when I'm in worse shape. Um, I also think that I have new insecurities now that I got my nose job. You know, my right profile, I'm very insecure about it. Um, someone was like, you should get a chin implant to like offset your new profile. But what I've really learned is it's just not that serious and it's not worth it. All of that being said, I know my nose job looks so freaking good and I know I look so pretty. So now I want to talk about would I get a revision rhinoplasty. I honestly think if I had all the time and the money in the world 
and I got suggested a doctor by someone I really, really trust and love and whose work I really loved, I think that I would consider correcting my profile, but all of the physical trauma, literally someone is breaking open your face, all of the mental trauma, the person looking back in the mirror at you is literally a different face than you've known for X amount of years. I personally just don't think that I can go through it again. I think it's well worth it to learn how to love yourself or to learn how to naturally alter on yourself what you want to alter to get yourself feeling great, feeling beautiful, feeling perfect. Um, my surgeon, would I recommend my surgeon? Let's talk about it. I personally had a great experience with my surgeon, but I know that not everyone has. But what I will say about every single surgeon I considered, they all had good and bad reviews. So I think it's very important for each person to do the research and specifically find out which surgeon will work best for them, who will have the best bedside manner, the best attitude, make you feel friendly, make you feel comfortable. I certainly wasn't sold any extra services during my procedure and I wouldn't have wanted to be sold any extra services. I also do think that I had um, a little bit of protection because I went into my doctor's office with a camera in my hand. The same camera that is filming this video filmed half of all of my doctor's appointments pretty much. And so because I went in filming and like vlogging the process, that could have encouraged my surgeon to just, you know, treat me well. I want to make it clear. I did not go in with a camera documenting exclusively as an influencer like i did not and do not have a big following but i documented my experience and i think anyone who gets a nose job can and should document their experience just get it on video you know just exactly what you said to your surgeon just get that down you know film it i think that's all i'm gonna say about my surgeon but again, I just want to reiterate, I am not encouraging you to go to my surgeon. I am encouraging you to do the research if this is a path you're going to take. You know, I just, I still have insecurities. I think before I got my nose job, when I was eating right and I was healthy and I was fit, I felt really good. I felt confident. I felt hot. I'm pretty sure I used to take more selfies of myself then. Um, more thirst traps. Granted, I am older now. I am married. But like, I don't know. I also do not do feel very pretty. I want to say that. I do feel very pretty. The main reason I wanted the nose job was that so that when I looked in a camera like this, I liked the face looking back. I mean, I loved, I liked my face, but I mean, like, I just wanted to tweak my nose so that I thought it looked better frontal facing. And that is the main thing that happened. I'm obsessed with my profile from the left. I do think I look stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, but my profile from the right, I do think, you know, I would have liked it better with Alar base reduction, but my nose is pretty even from the front. Oh, one thing to mention, if your nose is crooked before your surgery, your nose is probably going to be crooked after your surgery. My surgeon made it a strong point to tell me, hey, your nose looks like this. It's still going to be crooked in the same way after the surgery. My nostrils were different sizes, you know? He didn't create a new nostril and add it to my face. He just cut away a little bit of some nostril, you know? So, okay, so I forgot to add that when you get a nose job, your nose will also look different every day. Like, let's say I'm having an allergic reaction. My nose can be swollen, more bigger. Let's say that I am not having an allergic reaction. My nose is a little bit smaller. So that'll also affect how the profile looks because like I said, the nose is getting bigger or smaller. Let's say I bumped into my nose, it's gonna be really swollen and really big. So that's another thing to remember. A nose job is not a fix all. Like if you are wanting a nose job to fix yourself, it's not going to happen. But if you want a nose job, because you're like, hey, I'm going to tweak my nose in this way, which is just a small part of a larger plan. I say go for it. It, it. I'm sort of like in my head thinking about, I know there are girls who want to become dancers. If you know what kind of dancing I'm talking about, you know what kind. And they get sort of surgery to augment different parts of their body, their boobs, their butt. And they have a plan, like a life plan. I'm really thinking of that TikTok. You know, I had the plan. I just needed the platform. If that's you, go along with your nose job. If someone like traumatized you because of your nose, don't get it. That person's a dick and you are freaking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.